Rikukien was established in 1702 by feudal Lord Yanagisawa Yoshiyasu, who was well known for his literary accomplishments. The name Rikugien was taken from the six principles of composing Japanese waka poetry, which were derived from an ancient Chinese book, Mao Chin. It is typical Kaiyu go round style garden with 88 spots of literary significance arranged along a path surrounding a pond with an islet. At the time the gardens were built, the Mukasan Otachi mansion, named after the six elements of poetry, where Yanegisawa Yoshiyasu lived, was located behind the gardens. The scene visible from here, which was the front of the mansion, would have been one of the principal views of the gardens. The landscaping closely resembles the topography of the place called Wakano Ura, Bay of Poetry, in the province of Kishu, which is said to have been the model for the Rikugien Gardens. Wanda Gardens in a clockwise direction, composing haiku. Number 44, Mizuwakeishi is the rock splitting a stream. Number 45, Makura no Hora is the rock above that. Number 42, the Kinokawa River headwaters are where the flow from the waterfall turns into a river. Garden, garden, ga, den, ga, den, ga, den, ga, den, ga, den, ga, den, da. Walking through the garden now. Peaceful, yes it is. I hope we come back. Soon, yeah. Mm. Look. Yeah. Look, there we are. Uh. Hey! Hanato Komichi is the path on the right. It leads into the woods past the former site of the Ginka Te Pavilion. Number 56, Chidori Bashi is the bridge on the left. It leads to the path around the pond. Carp in the water. Feeding, swimming, being carp. They fill me with joy. Fukiyage no Hama is this space. Fukiyage no Matsu is this old pine tree. Ooh. Gnarly. I really love stairs. They lead to amazing things, but they hurt my knees. Suikonoe is the empty pond bed just ahead. It was once filled with water and lotuses bloomed on its surface. Fuyonohashi is the log bridge past the stepping stones to the left. Stepping stones. Of the pavilions built by the Iwasaki family during the Meiji era, this is the only one that still exists today. It has a rare and unique structure with the pillars and beams made of rhododendron wood. Number 87 is this path, Sasakani no Michi. The word Sasakani, meaning spider, was used in the name because the path is as slender as a spider's thread. Mm, spider. Ooh. Fujishiro Togehiro. 
Watching, yes. Trees, water, grass, and sunshine. Yes, 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 yes. There were stairs up here. Now I have to climb back down. No, 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 no. Kinokawa is the pond visible in front of Nakanoshima in the background. It was modelled after the Kinokawa River in Kishu. But we've got that tree. If we turn this way. The island. The way the hill. And that way the pond. Here we are walking, having a great time today. Hark, there goes a crow. The Shinshu Rikugien He. The stone monument was built for the restoration work of the Rikugien Gardens in 1809. The weeping cherry tree was planted about 70 years ago. That would look amazing in spring. Oh, hey guys, what you doing? Just going to an isekai. Okay. Can we come? Absolutely. We can come too, Pete. Really? Yeah. How are you going with the isekai experience so far, Peter? Well, we're the only five people in the whole restaurant. Seems to be a selection. A selection of? Vegetables. Mainly meats, but some vegetables. That's good. Okay. Some fruits and fruits and chips. Edamame. Edamame. We've seen this before. <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. It's a waste of money. But now I'm thinking. Go for it. So. Watch yourself. Find your star sign, which is Leo. And then I think. I think. Do you know? You push. Push something. I think it's one of the ones at the side. Oh. 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 A little Squirrel. tiny cigarette. You smoke it and you find out your picture. No, kidding, kidding, no. And, can you and read it's it? all in Japanese, so I don't know. But I got this cute little cat. No. So, so good, good fortune. Good fortune, because there's a cat on it. Yay. Number three. Number three, wow. Marinucci line. Hey. Okay. That's what it is. That's lucky. Yeah. Um. <coughs> what have you got there, Pete? Fish and chips. Uh, lotus root with um, some batter on it with a little bit of, well, a lot of wasabi okay. in there. So in each of those seed pod sort of whole bits. There is a wad of wasabi. That's wasabi. Yes, right. it's here. The ever popular karaage making an appearance here at the izakaya. So we've successfully demolished a table full of food. How do you feel? It's a good, I'm happy, it's full. Yep. How are the veggies? Really yummy. Especially the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce. Have you made some face like soy and Lotus with a lot of wasabi. Love yeah. Recommendation for izakaya for vegetarians? Um, do it. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah. The stuff. Recommendation for blue tard? Difficult. However, got some beautiful sashimi, potato fry, blue tard fish and chips, <laughs> and something else. Oh, edamame. Edamame. Mm. And some little chicken skewer things with the salt. Salt? That was nice. Shio. Shio. A couple of highballs, sugar contender. I think that's all I had. 
behind us is an active crime scene. We're not quite sure if we want to know what's going on behind the bus. Something to do with karaoke. Karaoke, never in as well. <laughs> Tomorrow we visit Sensoji and the robot restaurant on our last big day in Tokyo. <laughs> you just entered the crime scene. So the good news is there was nothing nasty to see. They were kind of reviewing some security footage in the lobby of the karaoke place back there. Um, but there's this tiny little gap here that like obviously you're not supposed to come through here but everyone's just walking under the tape so I, I walked through an active crime scene that was exciting I think we should stop recording now probably another bit that we can't get through because we're a lot bigger than the three people that we're with so we're going to do what everyone else is doing and we're going to go under the tape through the active crime scene here we go